Oh! Oh my goodness. That's why he's Phil Ivy and you're not. And here is Ivy. Raises with pocket sixes. Round two, Leani in the big blind. He's got aces. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, he's doing it. He's doing the all. Oh, I'm so stressed out with these aces. <laughs> okay, this. Oh man, is... I'm so disinterested in this hand. I just, oh, I don't even really want to be putting chips in, but I guess. Oh, I guess I'll raise. Full disclosure, this is a hand I have seen a fair few times. This is one that we bring out from the archives during the breaks on live streams. I'm pretty sure it appeared in the best of the EPT highlight shows as well. Oh, I guess I call. Crazy that he slow plays it from the big blind. You didn't really used to see that back then that often. And there's the six on the floor. <laughs> Spent all that time Hollywooding when you should have been just trying to protect against that six. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, what a decision. This is him pretending to think again. So much pretending to think. If only he were really suspicious of a set of sixes here. But he's not. <laughs> His timing's <laughs> slightly off here. Boom. 100,000 total. And Ivy calls, and these two go to the turn. I think Leani has Ivy covered here, by the way. That's a pretty big sack for Leani. Those chips are pushed forward, and then he went into that. What do you think about that face? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yep. Bouncing back and forth. What's up, bro? Phil's got his face pulled back like that to stop from smiling. He is real happy. Okay, so now we have more than half a million in the pot with one card to come, and that card the is the Spades. Queen of Spades. Board gets a bit straightier from Ivy's perspective. Leani decides to move all in, shoves on Ivy. Ivy calls it off <laughs> and is going to get the full double up here and will have more than a milli. Cracked him. Whoops. Ivy on the button. Phil opening with pocket nines. And with Bjorn Eric Glenner folding the small blind, the action will be on Jeff Lissandro in the big with 10 nine of hearts. This feels familiar. Yes, this is another hand which has had its fair share of airtime over the years. 
Don't spoil it, though. I don't remember what happens. Oh, boy. Now That's what happens. Ivy flops a set. Lissandro flops top two. Lissandro playing in flow, checks the action to Phil. Continues for 80K. Check raise all in. Snap call by Ivy. His name should be Jeffrey Melisandro because he is about to be sacrificed to the fire god. Two million chips in the pot. This could see Ivy take the chip lead. Lissandro needs a 10. It's a four on the river. And Jeffrey Lissandro will be eliminated. And we are going to sweat with Phil. We're going to play this hand from Ivy's perspective. Now he's back on the main stage. You know what's weird is a lot of poker terminology obviously has evolved over the years. And a lot of the stuff people said back then doesn't get said now. But we still say sweat with. Yep. Let me sweat your hand. That hasn't changed. Yeah, that's true. So Ivy elects to complete in the small, and Schoberg's going to check his option in the big. King, queen, nine. Ivy checks. Well, blind on blind, we like this. Seems weird that there wouldn't have been a raise pre-flop. If we were up against a king or something that connects super hard with this board, but whatever, maybe call. Uh oh, this board's getting straight here. I like that card a little bit less now. Obviously, goes check check. Now we have a straighty flushy board. Are you telling me we're just? We're just going to get a free show down here. Fine. <laughs> that would be so hilarious if it goes check tech. All right. <laughs> I think we're going to get put to a decision. 25K is the bet. Lex, what do you think? I think it's just so easy to be beat here. I'm just going to fold probably. Yeah, I don't know. I think that flush draws try to bluff the turn because there's a one card straight. I don't mind a call here. Because I think people don't bet a king, so you're not losing to a single king. I think that a flush they will bet the turn with. A jack is going to bet small on the turn, but they could have a jack. And every single set or high two pair combination, he raises free flop. So I don't know. Well, it's only like a half pot bet, right? Oh, he does not like the fact that he was called. Good call, Phil Ivy. I fold way too much. 4-5, the hand for Schoberg, who mucked, which means Ivy wins it uncontested. You guys in chat, I want to hear, uh, what is Phil Ivy's face? That sort of scowl he has. What does it look like to you? To me, it looks like they come over and told you in a restaurant that they're about to close soon, but you just sat down. That's what Phil Ivy's face <laughs> looks like to me. What does it look like to you guys? I want to hear jokes like that. These guys. Raise with Ace King and all in with Ace King. Look at that face. Come on. And oh, Ivy's all in. With Queens. Oh, what a great spot when you're up against guys who counterfeit each other. This is the age of, oh my god, I can still full this king preflow. Yep. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I guess but he's they facing... think about it. But also, this is the original Razor who's facing two all-ins, right? Yeah. He's going to let it go. Uh, This is one they always tell him. I had the same hand, bro. I had the same hand. Yeah, yep. there you yep. go. Just did it. That's really made him feel better about himself. Yeah. Scheiße. <laughs> Ivy's really not going to like that when the ace peels. Oh. 
<laughs> Clubs aren't working for him either. <laughs> you see the club? Okay, that's kind of funny. Oh! Oh, my goodness. That's why he's Phil Ivy and you're not. <laughs> Ivy looks like the kind of guy who just spiked a set on the turn.